Hi there. Our level reader today is Winter Vacation. The author of our reader is Henry Hart, and the illustrator is Natalia Vasquez. Do you remember what the author does? Yep, the author writes the story, and the illustrator draws the pictures. In this story, we're going to see some of our sight words that we've learned in the last few weeks. The word come, the word with, me, and my. Let's begin. Pointing finger under the first word. Ready, set, come, skate, with, me. Ready, again. Come skate with me. Come slide slide with me. Come slide with me. Pointing under the first word. Come ride ride with me. Come ride with me. Ready, set, come ski with me. Come ski with me. And our last page. Ready, set, come play with me. Come play with me. Now let's talk about our story. Our target skill is conclusions. Conclusion is how the story ends. How can you tell that the boy in the story likes the winter snow? Were there clues that told us that we could think of, that we read about or saw in the illustrations that can give us a clue that the boy likes the winter snow? On the last page, they're having a snowball fight, and he says, come play with me. What are other things that he did in this story as he was playing in the winter? Let's go back and look at the pictures. On this page, he is skating, and they're smiling. On this page, he is on a sled. sled. He is sledding. On this page, he is getting pulled on a toboggan. And on this page, he is skiing. In all of the pictures, he's smiling, and he's inviting friends to come do the things with him. That's how I know the boy likes the winter snow. Your text to stealth is draw a picture of what you would like to do in the snow and tell about the things in your picture. So my friends, that is your task for your WOW journal. Draw a picture of what you would like to do in the snow, then tell about the things in your picture. You can write labels like they used in this story, or you can write a sentence using a capital letter and punctuation at the end. I can't wait to see your, your picture and your stories. Thanks for reading with me.